You got a big coffee mug like that, Evo Rick? Bet you don't. Thanks for the new logos, Dibs. Love it. Um, so this, I just got home driving around. I had to go pick up my chainsaw, my uh, repaired Echo 2511 under warranty, almost warranty. I stopped at a thrift store. Value Village, I don't know if you guys in America have Value Village, but we have it here in Canada. Um, so I bought this big spoon. I bought a cane too, but I'm going to carve this spoon today for five bucks. It's a little bit expensive. Look at the size of it. It's a big, huge witch pot stew mixing spoon. But anyways, I think it's black oak. That's that's why I bought it, because we don't really have too much black oak around here. We do have some, but um, I haven't carved very much of it. So what I'm going to do on this video, I'm not, it's not going to, I got, there's lots of videos how to do wood spirits. So I'm going to, up here in the front, up top here, I'm going to carve a wood, my hands are all dirty from using spar urethane. So what I'm going to do is um, carve a wood spirit up here and just blend in a bunch of wood spirits down in this handle. So when I'm doing the first wood spirit, I'll take my time and explain what I'm doing. With a, I'll, I'll run it live, but down here I'm just going to go carving fusion freehand. I'm not going to carve this whole thing, but I'll probably carve to where about my thumb is. You know, I don't want to carve the spoon too. I think it's best to keep it clean for when, you know, you use it for soup or something and it needs to be washed. So less grooves in the cuts and little places for, for dirty stuff to hide. It's better to keep the bottom clean in my opinion, but this is just my opinion. You can see there it's chipped a bit. I'll clean that up. I'll end up sanding this whole thing. Like the person that made this spoon didn't put too much time into it. I don't even know if this is black walnut. It kind of it's got those oak streaks in there. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna drink some coffee, have a puff, and uh, be studio on the lake. Then we'll get uh, working on the spoon. So it's carving a little wood spirit. We'll call this thing on a witch's spoon. Big witch pot spoon or a spanking spoon. And you guys been spanked when you're kids with spoons like this? Not me. This is a pretty heavy duty spoon. I think this thing would leave a, a bruise. But I used to be spanked with those spoons that used to break over my ass all the time. Then I'd get even more shit when the spoon broke. Just kidding. I, I don't think I've been spanked that much with the spoon when I was a, a little kid. Just in case my dad's watching. Just kidding, Dad. I don't think you. I think you. I think you spanked me with your leather belt. <laughs> Times have changed. Times have changed. Alrighty, so break time is over. This is a new mic I got. I'm testing it out. It's like a little lavalier mic. So spoon thing down here. Sticker. Remove the sticker. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to sand this whole thing when we're done. Before we're done this video and I don't even know if I have any oil here to oil it or whatever I do so here's the top of the spoon I don't like this red knob thing there so we'll get rid of that after center line center line are always good to have on your wood carvings yep um, forehead we'll put the forehead actually let's make this a bit lower because we might put a face up here more so we'll make this one a bit lower forehead. We'll put our forehead in here. This isn't going to be a depth, like a crazy detailed carving. I'm just going to, I don't even, these wood spirits won't have real eyes. They'll just have like um, the hollow eyes that I do. Your wood spirits do not have to have real eyes. Here's the nose. Okay, so, and then the mustache coming down here. Let's make the nose a little bit longer, actually. I noticed uh, making my nose is a little bit longer. Gives me lots of room to make cheekbones and stuff in here. And then the mustache coming down here. Then this will be a mustache here. Okay. So that I'm running a Dremel 4000 with a Dremel flex shaft. Okay. You guys don't have to have a Dremel. It could be a cheap knockoff rotary tool, but I do suggest get, getting the Dremel flex shaft because those flex shafts that come with those rotary tools are no good. The burrs keep sliding out and those uh, hand pieces overheat. So most um, knockoff Dremels, like the ones you get on Amazon, there's lots in my store below, my Amazon store. Most of the um, rotary carvers are good, like the Tack Life, the Forged, the, I think it's the blue and white one. I forget the name of it. Apex Forged, 
Tack life's good, and they do fit the um, dermal flex shaft. So I'm going to change mics here. I'm going to put my noise reduction mic. Actually, I'm going to try this a little bit with this mic. See how this. See if this mic has noise reduction. Because you got to remember, when I'm carving in in this area, like all around here, it's like a box. It's like an echoing box. So I, I'm I'm still trying to find a good mic that doesn't make it sound like a, a, a an echo. Okay, so I'm going to carve for a few minutes with this. I'm going to turn the fan on right now, see if the noise reduction works. And I got my Dremel hooked up to a, just a generic foot pedal, an on-off foot pedal from uh, Amazon. Oops. Okay, stand by. I got to plug my fan in properly. Okay, sorry about that. So this, um, what I got here too is the Cutsaw um, Taper Burr. It's a silver one. It's pretty new. Um, on my other channel, uh, beginning wood carving. I think beginning wood carving of fusion. I'll leave a link to it below, but um, I'm going to be making a whole series on every single different cuts all bit so, and what they're what I use them for. I'm not too sure if I'll keep using this bit. I might switch it out, but the more bits that you have for different types of carvings, the the faster and better you're going to be, in my opinion. Okay, let's hit this fan. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carve the forehead in first. Carve two to the line on the forehead. Well, it doesn't have to be. Then I'm going to slope it back a bit. So look how much nice whiter that came from this old hand mill, right? Because you got to think people's scum from their hands have been on this and it makes it nice and fresher again. Okay, the eyes. Pinch the nose away from the eyes. I'm going to have to move this camera back a bit. Okay, so you can see we got our eyes cut in there, our forehead cut in. I left my forehead small. Now we're going to redraw the nose on. So, eyes, nose. All right. And we're going to cut on each side of the nose. You're going to see me carry along the side of the mustache. Actually, I'm going to switch out mics now because I'm not too sure how good this uh, noise reduction on this mic is, but it will, it's a test. Okay, so now I got my other uh, noise reduc reduction mic in. Mustache. Nose. Down the mustache. Dig the eyes in a bit deeper again. Take your cheekbones down for now. Lower the bridge of the nose to the eyebrows. Take the forehead back a bit deeper. Okay. So now we're going to cut underneath the nose. Now we're going to remove all that wood here underneath the nose. See the cut? We're going to remove the wood. Cut in the eyes a bit deeper. Okay, so now that nose is popping off, so let's, let me just draw this on, I normally wouldn't, but we'll um, draw on the inner mustache. 
we're going to cut that in there. We're going to remove all the wood inside here. Then you'll see me cut in. I'll say bottom lip. I'll draw it on. So you, I don't think I need to draw it on. And these, uh, carving these spoons make great gifts. Or also if you go to like uh, crafts, I like the colors in this. Look at the opposite colors. If you go to the crafts fairs, these would probably sell pretty good. You carve an owl on here, you can carve some flowers in here. I know the dollar store sells uh, wooden spoons. I think they're made out of bamboo, but I've, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I've carved lots from the dollar store. Get rid of that sticker. It's got sticky stuff that's sticking to my hand. So actually, you know what? I should have I should have cleaned this whole thing first. Because now like when I'm carving, if you don't clean it all, you're gonna you're gonna miss some spots and some spots are gonna look dirtier than like um I don't know if you can see here, but that's not clean. Let me clean that up. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my uh, ram carver with this quarter inch uh, bit here, excuse me, with this quarter inch bit. I'm going to put the diamond bit on here, not the diamond, but the, um, so this is a micro motor carver. It's the round one that I got. Um, I'm going to put the gold one on here and I'm going to go around and I'm going to clean up all of this. Um, ram, a micro motor is, um, there's no brushes in here and there's a, there's a big machine. Actually, I'll show you right here. The subscribers helped me buy this machine, actually. And this one holds quarter inch. So I'm going to run around this whole thing and clean it up, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I got the whole uh, spoon cleaned up. This I'm just going to carve on the front of this spoon because, you know, if they're using this in a big pot and they lean it, say my fingers the pot, you know, things can break off on the back. So there's what we did with the wood spirit so far. I kind of concaved where that circle was. No, it's not a you-know-what head. I concaved it right here to give it so you can get a grip on it better when you're stirring your friggin' spaghetti or whatever, your witch stew, which is stew. So, I think I'm going to detail this wood spirit more. I'm going to put a wood spirit up here and maybe a couple more down here. So, not too far down though, so I think probably to a boat. Actually, whatever. Who cares? Let's just keep carving. So, his eyes are here. I don't know how well you guys are going to see in the video. His eyes are here. Let's give him a little bump here for his cheekbones. Bring it in like that. See that? And like I said, these are kind of like um, I guess these could be called ghost ghost spirit spirits. They're just gonna be all blended together. Let's cut really deep in here where the forehead is, where the temple would be. Watch your hand. Same on the other side. Okay, now kind of round this off towards the cheekbones a bit. bottom lip. Oops. You can see this, you can see this white wood, this would be the sap wood, is a lot softer than the hardwood. I don't even know if this is black walnut. We're doing
doing the bottom lip right now. Take the mustache down a bit lower and make the beard come off. Round the nose off a bit. Mustache down a bit lower. Like, this is a piece that I'm not going to be putting a ton of work into, like, not much depth. You know, because you, you think, like, it's going to be used in somebody's hand. It's going to be a tool. You don't want it to break off, right? You don't want anything sharp. So this is going to be, like, we'll call these ghost spirits. So where do we want to put our next one? Let's um make it so it's, like, aim this way. So this one's straight on. This is your this is your center point. Now we'll do our line like this. We'll do a forehead over here. Eyes. This is not me showing you guys how to carve how I, not showing you how to carve, but how I carve, this is just showing, giving you an idea to carve a spoon. Find them at your thrift store, dollar store, or whatever, okay? So, I got the wood spirit there, then this guy's hair is going to blend into this guy's beard. Pretty soon I'm going to start doing, uh, like, I'm not going to film, I'll do a time lapse kind of, but we'll, we'll at least connect these two so you guys can see how I connect the hair with the beard. Take the eyes down lower. Re recarve your nose on. Recarve the eyes in. You'll you'll see I'm starting to get heavy-handed here already. Okay, the mustache. Blend it into the side of the face, this mustache. Carve deeper below the nose. Give him his bottom inside mustache. bottom lip. So where the mustache rolls off, take the mustache down a bit lower. Just have fun, you know, like.
Okay. So there you go. One, two. Let's uh, put one more up here. I'm not even going to draw this on. Actually, you know what? Let me do some carvings on here. I'll do a time lapse and then we'll talk about putting a little bit of details in with uh, maybe a metalworking burr. All right, so there you go. To uh, that's as good as I want to do it. Sanded it. You guys can sand it as much you want. I can still see cut marks in it. I don't know if this is black walnut. I don't have enough experience carving it. Maybe you guys can comment for me, please. It's kind of like well, look at that cut mark. Oh no! Don't care. So let's take a look at these faces. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Simple carving, you guys can do flowers, do whatever you want to do. So now the next subject about a finish. What would I want to do for a wood finish? Well, I know exactly what I'm going to do for a wood finish. And this might piss off all the, the professional wood spooners out there. Or wood spooner carvers. Wood spoon carvers. This is all I'm doing. I'm spraying it with this. Give it two or three coats of this. Yeah, it's flammable. It can explode and it's well, it's that thing that means it's poisonous or whatever. So, but like for all you wood wood spoon carvers or cup or bowl carvers, naturalists, you know, like you're like you can't use that in soup if you're gonna spray it with this stuff. Well, why can't I? You ever drink out of a coffee mug? What do you think they make it shiny with? You ever drink out of a plastic cup? This is basically the same shit. I don't care. I'm spraying it with this. Whoa, look at that color in that. Look at the color in that pop. This is spot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I got to charge my battery and put a couple more coats on this. Don't forget to sign your pieces so you can see the cuts, the way they all blend the same way. I did carve a hole through the center of it so you can put a string on it in case somebody wants to hang it on the wall. So there's the wood spirits, nothing special, just a bunch of ghost spirits blended in together. Sure neat how you get the different colors of the wood. If you guys know if this is um, black walnut, can you please let me know in the comments below? Like I said, it was it was actually pretty soft wood, believe it or not. But that just goes to show you, you know, you can pick up old crappy spoon from the thrift store and bring it back to life and give it to a friend or whatever you want to do with it. Hope you're all good. Keep carving. Be safe. And uh, don't poop your pants. Carve infusion. Over and out. It's a beautiful life. Just carve, Rob. It's a beautiful life.